Hello and welcome to Let's Wander. Today we're at Porchester Castle. We're going to go and have a look around the grounds because I don't think you can actually get in at the moment. I'm here today with my dad Mick and uh, Lila down there. She's trying to get out of shot, isn't she? <laughs> and also my nephew Jack who's got a uh, buddy, he's having his buddy rub right at the moment. So we're going to go have a look around and explore some of the history and some great scenery. So with that being said, let's wander. Porchester Castle was originally a Roman fort. It was one of several forts that were known as the Forts of the Saxon Shore. They were built around about the 3rd century to meet the threat presented by the Saxon pirates who were raiding the south coast of Roman Britain. Looking at the stonework here, you can see the layers of flat stone, then the layers of flint, and the layers of terracotta. This was a very common Roman building technique. They often used it on walls, and if you look at the ancient wall of Londinium in London, it's built in exactly the same way. The Romans occupied the fort until around the early 5th century. Archaeological research suggests that there would have been many timber houses and workshops, animal pens, rubbish heaps and cesspits all within the fort's walls. So obviously over the years there's been a lot of alterations to the castle and if you just look up here you can see where the there would have been a gateway here once which has been bricked up, built over. There's a lot of pigeons and things who have made this their home. I've got a look, looks like a kestrel. Yeah, I've just I'm following it now. I'm just trying to see if I can zoom in on it. It's just up there in the brickwork. Amazing, excellent little tree. Yeah, it's just sitting up there. It's pruning itself now. It just came out of one little hole just up there. And it's now, you might just be able to make it out. Just, you know, thing there. In the year 904, the Bishop of Winchester gave the fort to the English King Edward the Elder. After that, the fort became a burr. And they were fortified places which protected England from Viking attack. In 1086, the Doomsday Survey suggests that Porchester was comprised of three manors before the Norman Conquest. It doesn't say anything about a fort or a castle, but one of the three manors must have been within the Roman fort. It was given to William Mardit by William the Conqueror, and when Mardit dies in around 1100, he probably laid out most of the castles in the bailey. After William Moddit died, he left his castle to Robert Moddit, his son. Unfortunately, in 1120, he also died in a shipwreck known as the White Ship. It was just off the coast of Normandy. After this had happened, the castle was returned to the Crown. In 1153, Henry of Anjou, who was the son of the Empress Matilda, made a claim to the English throne, and he granted the castle to Henry Moddit a descendant of the original William of it. Henry went on to become King Henry II, and when he did, he took back the castle. It then belonged to the crown until 1632. Henry II used Porchester Castle quite frequently. He would often stay there before going over to see his other territories in France. King John also used the castle quite frequently. He would often stay there when he went off hunting in the Forest of Beer. In 
Here we're looking out across Portsmouth Harbour. The building you can see off in the distance is the Spinnaker Tower. And just next to that, HMS Invincible. By the south wall, there is a church built in the 1120s. It's comprised of Isle of White stone that was brought over by the Normans. It's presented to a small group of Augustinian monks by Henry I. Their seats, you can still see them in the chancel, they have arched recesses. So that takes us to the end of our wander around Paul Chester Castle today. If you liked it, if you like, share, subscribe, leave a comment, join us on our Facebook group, Let's Wander Group. Also, keep an eye out for the Dogs Glorious Dogs on Facebook group. It's a good place you can go and check out about dogs like Lila and Buddy and all the other types. So from me, Chris, my dad, Mick, and uh, Miffy Jack, Buddy's Bottom and Lila, this was Let's Wonder. We'll see you again soon. Bye 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 bye.